Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Treasure Adventure Game. So, there was a little bit of a break after the last episode, and it was actually not due to the sound issues that have been annoying the crap out of me. This time, in fact, it was due to a streetlight. Yeah, a streetlight. The whatever episode I uploaded last, at some point, actually managed to upload over the course of like three or four days. The reason being, a streetlight that was across the street from my house the, on the pole that the electric drop took to the house ran from was uh, shorting out or something, the bulb was bad, what have you. However, I had thought that it was a problem with my ISP, so I spent the better part of two weeks back and forth with Verizon trying to sort things out and figure out why my internet is dropping every minute and a half, two minutes or so for about two minutes at a time. So my internet had about a 50% uptime for the better part of two weeks. And I uh, eventually, you know, puffing around someone mentioned a street light. I drove around the neighborhood like an idiot, looking at street lights sitting in the car. Came home, sat down on the couch, and realized that there's a street light across the street that just happened to have been dim when I left, so I didn't notice that there was one there. Yeah, go me, I'm awesome. So, uh, yeah, sorted out that internet, uh, the streetlight issue earlier today, and, uh, spooky place with loud music, I'm gonna step outside for just a second here. Sorted that out, hopefully I'll have internet that'll actually stay up and allow this video to upload in less than, like, a three or four day period. Okay, let's head into this, uh, rather run-down S-Mart, now that I'm done talking about streetlights. Letter from Bagus. Bagus' journal, entry 88, year 717 AC. This is truly an incredible discovery. It appears we have found the remains of the ancient city of Paveglia. We were guided here by the old lighthouse. Don't ask me how it is still working, I can't explain it. This was once the home of the people who were responsible for stopping the Great War. This was also the home of the hero, Wayan. What even... What's even more amazing was the floating graveyard that hangs precariously above the island. Yes, it's true. It's a massive piece of land that seems to eternally float in the sky. There must be some explanation for this phenomenon, but I am not able to determine it at this time. Although this discovery has me greatly excited, I am also ready to move on as soon as possible. I keep getting a chilling feeling that we're being watched, even though there is not a soul in sight. Perhaps it's that there is a soul in sight. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I got a ghost haunted spooky stuff. I'm actually gonna pause the video here for just a second to lower the game volume. And I could have saved here in the last episode instead of backtracking, although backtracking did in fact, oh my god, the save point sucks. Backtracking gave me a little time to rent about street lights, and yeah, screw this, be back in this. And we are back, as I'm not in the focus on the window, so I can't move. Let's try this again. Yeah, this is a simple, simple jump. Should have just made it like that the first attempt, but no, no. Rope games being mean and not like making hard to get save points, hard to get to save points even. And fortunately, I don't think I have to redo this puzzle. I hope I don't have to redo the puzzle. That'll kind of suck. Up there. Amazing, I didn't get spiked. Couldn't do anything up there yet. This is where we were before I ended the video. Let's see where this bridge leads, finally. Ha <laughs> ha. It leads to, oh, another island. With a... Thing? Okay. Alright, let's go... No. <sighs> really? This should not be that difficult. Alright. Oh, now it's snowing. Glorious. Back across we go. Down we go. Alrighty. And watch, we can't get past this pink sea monster creature. Unless it's a boss fight. Of some sort. And apparently if we just sit still, the wind will in fact push us. Wait a second. We did, on um, one of the previous episodes, or actually might have been the last episode, get a new map. And, uh, it's not too far away. Let's go try and find the cannon. Maybe we can get past that sea monster. Wait, oh, uh, wait. No, wrong button. Aha! Money. 
lots of exciting stuff. The lack of background music is making this kind of a uh, quiet experience. In my so whenever I'm not talking, it's kind of like awkward silences. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Away we go. We should have music shortly. Your comp? No, not yet. Maybe now? No, yeah. no, still nothing. Any second now. Come on. Music. Come on. You know you want to play. Music. Music. Oh, damn. Wait. Nope. Nothing in the, uh, on the iceberg either. Oh well. Come on, music. We're going to go to the new screen before there's any music, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and take a nice drink of cool, refreshing water. Perfect. Music! Hey! Right before we transition across to a new area. Alright, let's keep going. Island with giant tree. Further and further we go. I really should have done this off screen. But now we are just about there. We'll be there in a moment. Really can't wait for the teleport things to become activated. Yeah, we still can't go over there. So let's climb up some mushrooms and through some tunnels. And, oh, help me if I have to go up in this area. This area was not cool. Oh, hey, carrots. Cool. I guess that's kind of cool about this area. You know what, for the hell of it? Let's try to get that interdimensional fragment one more time. You know, I don't spend like half the last episode trying to do so. New episode, maybe I'll have better luck, or maybe I just won't go that way. Maybe we'll go this way. Although I still apparently don't know why I'm falling through that cloud. Let's show that one more time. This could be bad. Uh, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Screw it. We'll come back there another point in time. So close, yet still so far. Not really close at all, because... That's, yeah. There's no doubt that that was going to happen. Ah, evil bush monster. Tomb Island. Yes, yes. Onward we go, across the seas yet again. Alright, we should be coming up on the cannon here shortly. The arrow should start pointing up or down or somewhere. Any second now, unless that was a positive. I hope that wasn't a positive. Was it a positive? Oh. It, oh, dear lord, that is in fact a positive. So, uh... Easier to go the other way. Oh, well. I don't know. I'll be back in a moment after I get a little closer to where the cannon, in fact, is. Alright, so we're at whatever the hell island this was. We're gonna avoid some jumping red frogs, and once we do so, we should be pretty close to where the cannon is. I didn't get hit there. That's kind of surprising. It's probably in that little waterfall cave that we didn't go through last time. Of course, afterwards, the game is gonna make me go back up through here, which kind of sucks. Ah, piranha. I'll go down one more level. It was not down one more level. So yeah, we get to climb trees and dodge angry monkeys who are not in their closets as they should be. Bad angry monkeys. Aha, now we can get through here. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything hidden in there or not. I don't feel like digging the whole thing out at this particular moment, so we're just going to skip it. Maybe eat a turnip. Perhaps wonder why that's there, although we do in fact know that it is because we are going to go underwater at some point. In theory. Well, let's find this cannon. It's right here somewhere. Right below us there. Cannon! Yeah, cannon! I wonder if I could have found that if I actually dug this out earlier. It's a block. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out off screen, why not, you know, just see if there's anything in here. So get back in a sec. Well, there we have it. I cleared the thing out except for that one block under the platform, which I don't think I can. But 
and if you can, I don't know how, but I couldn't figure it out. So, uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, I still suck at jumping. That's a given. So I'm gonna go ahead and get through this, and meet you back up top in a moment. Alright, well, we're off the island, and we have a cannon with sticky balls, apparently. Up and down key, move the cannon angle around. Let's see if we can, uh, I don't do anything to that. No. So I can't get up there. Oh well. A little confusing to aim, to be all honest, because I have to hold right to move, but up and down aim the cannon. Oh well, whatever. Not a huge deal. House is still for sale. Still can't afford it. What map was I using? Was it that one? I think it was that one. Alright. Be back in a moment. Ah, we're back for the moment on this uh, mushroom thing. We're on a new mushroom, finally. Yeah, it took me long enough. Oh, oh, no. that was close. This should be interesting. Let's see. Oh, that was close. Unfortunately, I have a lockpick for another treasure map. Awesome. Said which one it was. I don't remember which we had or didn't have. That one's kind of close, I think. Hmm. Eh, it's a little far away. That one's closer. But let's stick to the one we were working on previously. Still didn't get the interdimensional fragment up there. Probably worth noting, but eh, whatever. I still have a long ways to go, so I'm actually gonna cut out here again for a second. Be right back. Alright, and we're back. Time to test out our cannon against the sea monster. And it worked. I can't move, this is bad. Holy crap, that's b not good. That was apparently its tongue, right? Boss time! And I don't seem to be able to hit him at the moment. intuitive aiming method, but holy crap, I beat it the first try. Amazing. Boats are overpowered. Look at all those cannonballs on the support for the bridge. Send quicker, damn it. All that for a lever. Aha! But the bridge is down. Cool. I don't know, should I end the episode on a good note? I don't know. Uh, here we go. Save point. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna start keeping track of, while playing, how many times something should be easy and it's not, and how many times something is actually difficult and it's easy. And now apparently I have Ventrilo going off. Yeah. Uh, security alert notice. Awesome. I'm gonna deal with that. That is dealt with. Anyway, moving on across the bridge with the drawbridge lowered so we can actually get past it. Cool. Mm -hmm, nothing to see yet. <laughs> Spooky. 
castle time. The spooky castle door, let's go into the courtyard. Yay! There seems to be a whole lot of nothing in the courtyard itself, so let's go inside the castle. The keep, something. Ooh, we got ghosts. And a secret passage. Leading to a secret chest with secret money. And these ghosts are getting a little too friendly here. Torches I can't light. Door that's not open that I can't get through. A book of mice and men. During the great war between science-minded humans and magic-wielding animals, there was a growing anti-war rebellion that consisted of both human and animals. They believed that magic and science should be practiced together and their movement eventually won over. Their conviction was enough to create peace and usher a new era of co cooperation between all creatures of the world. After the Great Cataclysm, however, animals and humans thought it was best to give up magic and science altogether. Over the generations that followed, both animals and humans lost the ability to wield magic. They also lost the understanding necessary to create advanced, te advanced technology. A side effect to this was that animals and humans also stopped interacting. They kept it themselves for years until it was mostly forgotten that they had all once been a part of a great society together. Alright. Spooky save point. Down some spooky stairs, across the spooky throne room, up a spooky set of stairs, and another door we can't open. Yeah. Alright, lots of excitement in there. Onward. Aha, uh -huh, tower. With gross looking swamp gas bubble water. Interesting. Idea here. Hmm. How much time? It looks like when I jump out, the bubble pops. I can stand on those. I'm also kind of surprised I can get back up those. I don't think I can get up again, though. No, oh, well, let's see what's further over here. Another iceberg and some spiny things that hurt. Onward and upward, and was this where I couldn't get up beyond previously? I don't know. Yes, it was. Uh, we didn't really do much after that save point, so that's going to be it for this episode of Treasure Adventure Game. Next time, perhaps, we will figure out where the heck I'm supposed to be going. Have a good day, as I go down to where I can't return from.